Hi there, and welcome to Tech Tuesday. Today, we're talking engine trigger systems. The most important sensors in your engine are the crankshaft and camshaft position sensors. These sensors have to be wired and configured correctly in order for the engine to start, let alone to run well. We refer to the crankshaft position sensor as the trigger signal. This is the one that the ECU uses to measure engine RPM and to calculate out the ignition advance. We refer to the camshaft position sensor as the home signal. This is the sensor that the ECU uses to determine where the engine's up to in its two or four stroke cycle. However, here's where things get confusing. Not all trigger signals are mounted on the crankshaft. They can be mounted in a distributor drive or on a cam gear, thus technically I'm not making them a crank sensor and why we don't refer to them as such. Manufacturers often save space, money and wiring complexity by combining both the trigger and home signals into one unit, like that found on most popular Nissan engines including the Nissan RB26. This has a cam mounted system which integrates both the trigger and home into one unit. Good for the manufacturers, not so great for the performance enthusiast. This is because the mechanical connection between the camshaft and the crankshaft, uh, in this case a timing belt, stretches and has harmonic resonance issues under high load resulting in timing accuracy that's, that's less than desirable. Not a failure of the ECU, rather the signal that's getting fed in is flaky. Garbage in, garbage out. It's for this reason that a crank mounted trigger is desirable. It's measuring exactly what the crankshaft is doing. In the performance world, we measure and tune ignition timing in crank degrees, so it seems odd to measure it in cam degrees. So the trigger sensor is critical for ignition timing accuracy. However, the home signal is a little less critical. Don't get me wrong, still needs to be right. But because the ECU is not calculating ignition timing off this signal, having it on the camshaft isn't a problem. In fact, in order to achieve sequential fueling or ignition operation on your four-stroke engine, this is the only way we can do it. Remembering that a four-stroke crankshaft spins twice while the camshaft spins once. Take a look at the crank and cam gears on your engine. Notice the cam gears are twice as big as the crank gear with a double the number of belt teeth. Remember the four strokes? Suck, squeeze, one crank revolution, bang, blow, the second crank revolution. Without a unique cam position sensor, we wouldn't know if the crank was on the suck squeeze stroke or the bang blow stroke. Next, we need to look at the number of home and trigger teeth on your engine. Plenty of manufacturers do it in all different ways. Nissan have a 360 pulse trigger and a six pulse home for a six cylinder, while they have a 360 pulse trigger and a four pulse for four cylinders. Toyota, like a 12 tooth trigger on the crankshaft and a single tooth home on non-VVTI engines, while the VVTI engines have a 36 tooth trigger wheel with two missing on the crank, while they have three teeth spaced 90 degrees apart on the cam. The list of trigger systems is endless. Why don't all manufacturers do it the same way? I don't know. Um, it'd be nice and it'd make supporting all the engines easier for us, but it's just not the case. In more current engines, trigger systems seem to be heading towards 60 teeth with two missing on the crankshaft as the trigger, and a unique multi-tooth pattern as the home on the camshaft. This combination offers the best ignition accuracy because of the high number of trigger teeth. The fastest engines start up and enough home information to achieve sequential operation and variable cam control position feedback. I know this is a complicated and technical topic. Let me know in the comments if you've got a specific question related to your trigger system, and I'll make sure to put a link up here to a video that we did a while ago about trigger systems that goes a little bit more in depth. Catch you next week.